Oh my goodness, you have no idea the sigh of relief because it's bothering me. I got no sleep last night because I've been thinking about the num num plant that I was trying to find yesterday. This is the Carissa bispinosa. It's a beautiful plant. It's tucked away under another shrub. This is the other one I was telling you about that was on the, on, on uh, what is this road called? Twin Dams Road. Now, if we have a nice look at them. Now, I know a lot of you think, why on earth do we need to know Latin names? They are pointless. Not all of them. And this is actually quite a nice, a nice example of how cool a Latin name can actually be. So, Carissa bispinosa, as I said. So, Carissa is quite a large genus of plants. And that part of the name actually comes from an Indian word, which describes a poisonous glucotoxin that it has, or uh, yeah, glucotoxin, glucoside, sorry, that is inside the the bark called uh, caris, uh, uh, no, what is it, kerosene, something like that. I've forgotten exactly what it was. Um, but not a nice one. Now I was telling you yesterday about this plant having a multi milky latex and it's one of the few plants that you can actually eat the fruit. Now that's still a little fruit. I'm going to actually move away from the car. I was just looking at exactly what um, Seb was talking about. But another nice part, of course, the second part of the Latin name is bispinosa. And that just describes the forked, the two spines that they do have on the plant. Now it's quite big and they can grow quite tall, not more than about between three to five meters as though this is quite a small one but it's wide so it starts over here and it actually extends right to where those quarries have fallen there's lots of fruit you can see it starts off green let me show you these ones on this side over here they're going to turn red these are going to be delicious I can't wait to eat them I think that one that little red one is not quite ripe just yet I might try it though and it isn't uncommon to see fruit and flowers on this tree at the same time here's some flowers that are growing just off of it and they smell very very nice now it's a lovely tree like I was saying we call it Bushman's bubblegum let me try this little one let's see if it is ready might be a little bit excited ah! it's not quite there let me poke my head out for you mm. it's getting there it's so nice not a little bit bitter just because it's slightly underripe I'm going to search for some more. I don't even know how to describe the flavor to you, but it's delicious. And when they do get big and juicy, like those green ones that I showed you, you can chew and chew and chew for ages. And the skin sort of stays around and it goes like chewing gum. Uh, the skin is not nice on this one. Let's just get rid of it there. Um, it, but it's great. Lots of birds will be around here. It's a great smelling plant too. It's a good one to have in your garden. And slightly drought resistant too and wind resistant. Not too affected by... Um, those two things. What else can I tell you about the this plant? Oh, you can use the roots. Seen as Ali was telling you about toothache yesterday with the knob thorns. That's the most common one we talk about with help um, uh, alleviating toothache. You can actually use the roots of this plant to do exactly the same thing. But it's lovely. I mean, I've got a bitter taste in my mouth. Maybe I need to find a better one. Come out here and see if I look very carefully. I might find another fruit that's maybe slightly more ripe. No, not yet. There's a couple of, one or two more, but not as ripe as the one that I ate. But I'm so happy. Whew. I put in a lot of work. This is not the one I wanted to show you. That one is much bigger than this, but it's down somewhere in the thicket. I couldn't find it, but here we go. Finally. Now, where's my earphone cable? I've lost it. There it is.